the separation of church and state seems to have in, inevitably led to the separation of law and moral and religious values. Um, legal um, positivism and, and um, books I find now on, on uh, discovering ethics and science and the social sciences seems to be the inevitable resting place of the law. How can it find its way back? Well, uh, first of all, it really is important to see and to say that the separation of church and state is nowhere in the Constitution. Even in the First Amendment, it doesn't talk about separation of church and state. It says the Congress of the United States, that was the institution most feared, federal lawmakers, shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion, either for it nor against it. And I can't remember whether it was five or six of the colonies, becoming states, had established churches. They had never accepted the rule of the Congress over those. And they remained established churches until the, uh, some of them as late as the 1830s. Well, that didn't work, and so they, they stopped the establishment of churches. But the Constitution doesn't. Well, the rule in America, in practice, was cooperation. 